oftentimes we get questions on terminating as far as if they want to get the full benefit of the cover crop, when should they be terminating? Uh, I know, Dale, your answer is already going to be depends, but what is your guys' general rule of thumb as far as how do you plan to terminate your cover crop? Um, well, I mean, it used to be, well, the advice I, I've given historically, anyhow, has been either get it brown and crispy when you plant or to plant green. And uh, it, it's when you, you kill a, a cover crop with herbicide and it's half dead and it's limp and raggy, that's when you seem to have mechanical planting issues. If it's been dead for a week or more and it's nice and crispy, that's easy to plant into. Um, if you're planting green, that again, the plants are full of water, they're, they're crisp, the, the coulters and everything will cut through it and that's easy as well. Um, it's in between where you have issues. Now, uh, I guess a special situation though, um, and there, there's all different kinds of things that can happen uh, in, in any of the above situations. If you kill too early and you get a rain, then you can be stuck there because it's gonna take forever to dry out. Uh, whereas if you plant green, you, the plants can be pumping that water out of the profile and dry it back up. Um, but when you plant green, there's some risks involved with that as well. And some of those risks involve um, insect and disease issues. Um, one of those disease issues, if you're planting corn into rye, planting corn green into rye, there can be some transfer of fusarium fungus that, that causes root rot from the rye to the corn. Uh, that's been an issue in places. And uh, uh, cutworms or armyworms sometimes will transfer from a, especially a cereal grain to uh, corn or sorghum. And so uh, something that you, you might want to keep keep an eye out for. And there's a reason they say that the farmer's footprint is the best fertilizer. Um, be constantly out there looking for issues. Almost all these issues are rather easy to deal with if you catch them early and can be nightmarish if you catch them late. And, uh, you know, it took us 7,000 years to figure out how to farm with tillage and no cover crops in bare soil. We've only been doing this cover crop no-till thing for really about 10, 15 years now. Uh, most of us or less and so there is a learning curve and, and there are a lot of problems sometimes we don't anticipate um, and best to that's one reason why it's good to get on webinars like this and and uh, get on our website and, and get on discussion groups and learn about what other problems and successes people are having so that uh, you can repeat the successes and uh, head off the problems.